Daisy Squad. Welcome back to episode of Is It Worth It? So today's episode at this cool Amazon here and pretty much what this is, it's a portable power station. And right here we do have a solar panel. If you can see for both of these, it's from a brand called EcoFlow. And if you guys seen my previous video, I actually read a few other products from this brand before. And you guys know that I do love the product a lot. In terms of the solar panel, I actually reviewed something like this in the past that's actually very similar. So I'll show you guys uh, what that looks like in a second. If you guys seen my previous video, I actually reviewed the River Pro before and that one was like a different design and not as powerful as what you guys get for this one. And I do like the new design. It actually looks a lot cooler for this one. So before I open up both of them, I do want to show you guys what's on the package on here first. So for the solar panel right here, it does mention how it does probably guys 220 watts of power when you guys do it outdoor. And when you guys do use the solar panel, it is compatible with multiple of the devices. Whether if you guys want to use this one or the other ones from the other brand, for this brand in particular, I can show you guys in a second. And then for this one right here, like I mentioned, it is the River 2 Pro. And on the bottom, they do probably got some specs and feature about the product. Let me bring it a little bit closer to show you guys what's on here. So this is what the front part of the package looks like. It does mention how it does have 768WH capacity, 800 watts of AC output that you guys can use the X-Boost technology on here to give you guys more power, which we'll test out in a second. They mentioned how you can fully recharge from 0 to 170 minutes. And it does use a high quality battery, as you can see right here in the bottom. Then most of the newer portable power station actually use this battery as well, which is really nice. So that way actually lasts longer and much more efficient and is much more powerful when you guys do use it. In the front right here, they do probably got the image of what the product looks like. If you guys turn on the side, on the side right here, they also probably have more specs and feature about the product. So it does have the extreme uh, fast charging option, which is for the fast charging product. It does have app control. It does allow you guys to charge up to 11 devices at the same time. It does have an EPS, which is an emergency power supply in, in case of emergency when you guys do need it. And it does have the X-Boost technology on here to give you guys a lot more power like I mentioned. And if you guys turn to the back, the back part right here, they also provide some more specs and features about the product in terms of what is actually on here. And that is pretty much everything that's on this package. If I turn this one around to the back, on the back right here, they do show you guys how to actually use the product. So like I mentioned, I actually had something like this in the past before, so I'll show you guys that in a second. One right now is put this down on the ground first and we'll open this one to show you guys what the inside looks like. Then we'll show you this one as well. All right, so let's open up this one. So once you guys do open up, this is what the inside looks like. So let me see how it's all well protected. For the first the inside right here, they do provide you guys a user manual to teach you guys how to set it up and how to use it. Underneath that, we do have the actual product. So let's do take it out. Right here, we do have the product. But on the bottom, we do have more stuff. I want to take that out first. So there's a box inside. And that's pretty much everything that's inside. Let me put this on one side for now. So let's open up and see what the inside looks like for this part. So inside, they do give you guys a few cable. So they do give you guys this like AC or DC cable that you use. You can see this what it actually looks like. They do give you guys a cable for the plug it into the car. And they do give you guys a cable for the AC option. So that way you can fast charge it from 0 to 100 from uh, around 7 minutes. If you guys do use the solar panel option that I showed you earlier, it will charge really fast as well. When you guys do use one of them, it will provide you guys 220 watts of power when you guys do recharge it. So it probably will not be as fast compared to using a cable directly, which is this one right here. But it should charge pretty fast when you guys do use it. And the other thing to remember is that when you guys do use the solar panel option, in order for you guys to get like the max speed on there or the max power with a 220 watts, you do have to get direct sunlight and it can't be cloudy or anything. If it's like very cloudy, it probably won't work as well. So that's something to keep in mind when you guys do use it. But that's pretty much everything that's inside the box. Now let's show you guys what's on here. So to make things a little bit easier, let me actually bring the camera a little closer to show you guys what's on here. So as you guys can see on top right here, I showed you guys how I can carry this part right here on top. And I'll show you guys that in a second as well. Top right here, they do have a flat base. So that way you can put stuff here if you guys want to. Maybe if you guys want to get two of these and just stack on top of each other. Fan part right here, and you can see we do have the brand name EcoFlow or EcoFlow. Bottom part right here, we do have a lot of different output that's in use. So we do have three USB-A option and one USB-C. I believe for the USB-A option, you can use that up to like 12 watts for each one of them or somewhere around that range, maybe a little bit higher than that. But for the USB-C right here, you can see how it does mention that it does probably cost 100 watts of power when we do use it. Right here in the middle, we do have the display screen for it to turn it on and show you guys the power and how much uh, that's being generated when we do use it. Here we do have the DC cable option that you can use which is this cable if you guys need to use it. So there's two of them here. If you guys do open this up, you guys can open this option right here to use as well if you guys want to, to plug in like your uh, car charger or car ports, which is really nice. And if you have a button for it to turn on and turn off, here we do have the AC option. So there's four of them in total that you can use. And like I mentioned, the power is on here is like 800 watts, but they do have the X-Boost technology that allows you guys to use it 
even more power when you do use it up to like 600 watts which we'll test out in a second but we do have the little button on the side that's in turn on as well and i love the design of the product if you can see it definitely looks very nice and it actually looks very durable when it, when you guys do see it but here's what the part looks like in the front let's turn around to the side and the back to see what the back part looks like as well so on the side right here they do have the air vent option to prevent it from overheating when you guys do use it same thing for the other side we guys do turn on the other side as well so here's the other side so they do have the air vent option to prevent it from uh, overheating when we do use it. If you guys do look at the back, the back part right here is where you guys want to plug in cable to recharge it, which is right here. And then here we do have the option for you guys to plug in the car charger option or you can plug in your solar panel to recharge as well, which is really convenient. And right here in the back, it does probably guys all the specs that you guys want to know. And it tells you guys how the River 2 Pro. And if you guys do turn to the bottom, here is what the bottom part looks like. So they do have like the non slip material to prevent it from moving around when you guys do use it. And that is pretty much everything that's on here. Now let me show you the solar panel really quick as well. All right. So once you guys open up the box, this is what the inside looks like. So they do give you guys a very high quality case right here for the actual solar panel. And when you guys do use the actual product, you do have to use the bag itself as a stand, which I'll show you in a second. But if you have to open up, we do have like the high quality zipper in the uh, top part right here. And it does have the brand name EcoFlow in the bottom or the middle. But if you have to open up, You do want to be careful when you guys do take it out because we do have the cable inside for you guys to uh, plug in. So here is one of the cable that is in use. So this side will go to the portable power station and this will go onto the solar panel. But if you guys do open up, this part right here when you guys do feel it, it definitely has the cushion on here or protection on here to protect the solar panel when you guys do use it. But if you guys do take it out, inside they also probably guide the user manual to teach you guys how to set it up and how to use it. But right here we do have the solar panel. So the actual product itself is actually very big when you guys do take it out. And we do have two more cables here that you use. So you do have two of them right here. And for both of them, you guys want to plug it into the cable that I just show you guys. And I love how everything is all well protected when you guys do take it out. But the solar panel itself is actually very big. So it might not be uh, big enough for me to show you guys in this table. But for right now, I'll just open it halfway to show you guys what's on here. So if you guys see, this is pretty much what the solar panel looks like. It's very high quality when you guys do feel it. And very durable as well. Like I mentioned, I actually reviewed one of these solar panels before, so I'll show you guys how to set it up for a different power station that I use outdoor to make it easier so that way I don't have to set up again. And because today is actually very cloudy, so I can't really test out outdoor. So I'll show you guys that video in a second. But right here is what the solar panel looks like if you guys are interested to get this combination with this one. Uh, or you do have the option to buy this separately for your other devices for, for this brand as well if you guys are interested as well. But pretty much for this part right here, when you guys fully open up, you guys want to put it onto the case or the bag right here to use it as a stand to hold everything together. So I'm actually showing you guys that video real quick first, and then we'll come back and test this out to show you guys how it does work for the portable power station. All right, so I got the product all set up. So it took me a few minutes to actually figure it out, but pretty much the actual bag is a stand that you use as a kickstand option to set it up. And for the carabiner, you guys want to put one on top, one on this side, and one on the bottom on both sides. And once you guys do set it up, this is what the product looks like. So just to show you guys how I set this up, let me actually take it apart and show you guys what it actually looks like. So for this part right here, you just want to hook it on. Same thing for this side. Once you guys do that, you guys can raise this part up. And then right there, we do have the back, if you can see. And for this top part right here, you guys want to hook it on the top part. Same thing for this side. And for the carabiner, you guys can feel free to leave it on or take it apart if you guys want to. Totally up to you guys. I do feel like it's easier for you guys to just leave it on. So that way, I don't have to worry about taking it on and putting it on every single time. I do have to say that it's probably easier for you to just leave it on. So that way, I don't have to worry about removing it and putting it on every single time. But pretty much for the top part right here, you guys want to get the hard side of the actual bag. So that way actually supports the solar panel when you guys do use it, which is really nice. But this is what the product looks like when you guys do set it up. Very easy and very simple after your first time using it. You do get the hang of it. So now I'm just clip that on the bottom part to show you guys what the product looks like with the solar panel when you guys do use it on the power station. So just like that, very easy and very simple. And feel free to adjust the different height. If you guys want to make it higher or lower, feel free to play around with it. But right here is what the solar panel looks like when you guys do set it up. And this part right here is the cable that I want to plug in. So I do take out the cover. Let's unstrap it. Once you guys unstrap it, what you can do is plug it into the actual power station and start using it. So I'm actually plug it in to show you guys what the part looks like. And then we'll probably test it out outside. So I move this over this side. And I'm going to turn around to the back. So that we can see what the back part looks like when you guys do plug it in. So I have to open up. What I'm going to do is plug it in to the cable that's provided for you guys. When you guys buy the power station or the actual solar panel. So this one will go right here. And the other one will go here. And this side you guys unplug it into the actual power station. Which should be this one right here on this side. 
And once you guys plug it in, it should start charging if you guys put it outdoor in direct sunlight. Right now we don't have direct sunlight, so it probably will not work. So when you guys do look on here, nothing's charging because we don't have direct sunlight, so it's not working. But just to show you guys what the pot looks like when you guys do set it up, here's what it actually looks like. What I'm doing now is to bring both power stations outdoor and to use one of them to charge it up. While using the wall charger to actually charge from one power station to the other one to show you guys where actually it works. And then we'll come back and talk more product in a second. All right, so we got it in the outdoor setting and this is what the pot looks like when you guys do set it up. So currently I do have the panel set up and we guys do look at the power station. Let's see how many charges are provided when we do use it. So currently it's providing 230 watts, you can see. It tell you guys how long it takes to fully charge it. So right now it's at 98%. It'll take around 17 minutes to fully charge it if you guys leave it out. So the solar panel definitely provides you guys a lot more power than what mentions in terms of 220 watts. Right now we see how it's providing 240, even when we're at 98%. I'm assuming probably you guys a lot more power when you guys charge it at a lower percentage, at like 20% or something around that range. But pretty much right now, we do have it connected in the back. But what I do right now is a plug-in cable right here to charge this power station on the other side here to see what happens and what actually works at the same time. All right, so we got it all plugged in. So we're using one the AC option on this side to actually plug it onto this side here to charge it up. And when you guys do look at the power that's on here, it's providing 700 watts. So it's a good amount of power, but not a lot compared to the other one that's on the other side. Let me show you guys the other one to show you guys how much power that provided when you guys do use it. So this one is showing 590 watts. So it's definitely a lot of power, but not a lot. Let me actually flip it around and charge it on this one to see how much power it provided when you guys do use it. So you see once we do plug it in, it's providing 500 watts. And the reason why it's so low is because the percentage right now is 100% on the other device. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm seeing how this one shows 100%, but it's still providing 500 watts of charge when you guys do use it. So in order for you guys to get the fast charge speed on here, your percentage on the device needs to be pretty low. Basically, the lower it is, the faster charge. But once it reaches like 80% or any higher than that, like if you guys reach to 100%, it does go down one. And see how it's showing you guys 466 watts. But you can see the part that thing does work when we do use it. All right, so I just flipped the cable around. And see how we're charging the other one. And we have to put a new number on here. It's probably got a lot more power. So currently it's charging 1100 watts. It probably probably has a lot more when you guys do plug it in when it's a lower percentage. But right now it's still pretty high when you guys do plug it in since it is 97%. And here's the other one that's showing you guys result. So the solar panel is providing 184 and it's charging the device at 1100 watts when we do use it and it went down a lot because the percentage is pretty high and at 98 percent so the product definitely does work when you guys do use it it won't charge as fast when you guys do reach a higher percentage if you see how it does slow down another thing that i forgot to mention is the fact that when you guys look at the cable on here it does show you guys which one's positive and negative but even when you guys do plug it in it should be pretty obvious because this one's like this and the other one's like that one and if you guys want to unclip it just press it on the side and you guys take it out really easily, just like that. Same thing for other one. So this would be positive, and this would be negative. All right, so now that I saw that quick video of how it does work, you can see it's actually very easy and very simple for it to assemble it. And you can see how I put it away already. It really does not take that long to set it up and put it away. And the product itself is actually pretty heavy and very durable. So that way when you guys do set it up, you don't have to worry about the wind blowing away because it's very durable. Unless it's like a very massive and very strong storm, then it probably can get blown away. But the odd of that is actually very low unless if you guys are using somewhere where it's super strong winds. But that is pretty much how you guys do set it up and how to use it. What I'm doing right now is put this down and then show you guys how to actually use the portable power station that we do have right here. So we're probably going to plug in cable to show you guys how to charge it first. So we're going to use the cable that we do have right here and we'll plug it in. So this one we'll plug in the back. And this one we'll plug it over here. And this one we'll plug on this side right here. So once you guys plug it in, if you see how I'll show you guys that start charging. So right now it's 29% and you can see how the number is going up. So right now it's going up to like 881 and I'll show you guys how long it'll take to fully charge it, which is 53 minutes. So if you guys remember how I mentioned how when you guys do the solar panel to recharge it, it provides guys 220 watts, which is way less than what you guys get here. So it'll probably take way longer than what you guys use for right here. But you can see how when you guys do use it, it definitely provides guys a lot of power when you do use it. Like right now it went from like 29 to 30 already within a few seconds. And they also mentioned how it probably take you guys 50 minutes to recharge it. But while it's recharging, let me show you guys a quick test of everything on here to see when it actually works. So I think what I'm doing right now is to try out the USB-C option first to show you guys how much power it does provide when we use that. And then we'll try out the AC option as well. All right, so right here, I do have my MacBook Pro 16 inch. If you guys do plug it in, once you guys plug it in, you can hear how it turns on. And we have to look at the power on here. Currently it's providing you guys 92 watts of power and it show you guys that's connected to USB-C and you can see how the fan is on. So the fan is pretty much the cooling fan that's on the side and throughout the product that show you guys how it will help you guys cool down the product when you guys do use it. 
And even when we're charging the power station and charging a product at the same time, it still works, you can see. So if you guys want to plug in more than one device at the same time, feel free to do so. One right now to try the AC option. So we're gonna use one of my Anchor wall charger to plug it in here and test it out to see how much power it does provide when we do use it. So we're turning the AC option right here. And once we do turn it on, we do have the logo that pops on here. So now make it the charger and test it out. So before we try out the AC option right here using this wall charger that do we have from the Anchor brand, I wanna unplug the cable and try the USB option to see how much power it does provide. So let's give it a try. So let's unplug it. So right now zero. If I do plug in this cable right here onto our laptop, it starts charging. But when we do look at the power that's on here, let's see how much power it does provide. So currently it's showing five. So it doesn't seem like a lot when we do use it. Let's try the other one. That one's also five. So I guess it depends on what uh, cable you're using. Maybe this one only supports up to five watts when we do use it, you can see. So I believe if you guys do use like other cable, maybe like a USB to lightning cable, it probably probably has a lot more power. And I believe if you guys do look at the instruction manual and also the back part of the product, it'll probably tell you guys how much power it does provide when you guys do use it. But it definitely does work when we do use it. Now let's plug in the AC option and see how well it does work. All right, so we got the cable plugged in here. If you guys do plug it in, once you guys plug it in, it starts charging. And we got to look at the power that's coming out of it. It's at 110 and it's still going up. Now it's at 116. Right now it's around 115. If you can see the watts went up a lot more when we do plug in as well. Now it's at 1000 for the input option when we do have this plugged in. So for this wall charger, when you guys do use it, it definitely does work and it does probably guys 115 watts, you can see. They mentioned when you guys use this one, it's supposed to provide you guys up to 140 watts, but so far so good. It still works pretty well. And even when we're charging the actual laptop right here, it still provides you guys a lot of power at the same time. Now let's try something much more powerful in terms of like electric kettle and see how that does work. All right, so I moved the cable for the laptop over. And right here, we do have the cable plugged in from electric kettle, you can see right here. So if I do turn it on, let's see when she works. So it turns on, you can see. And we guys do look right here. It turns off automatically because it's over low protection. So I'm right now is connect on an app and show you guys how that does work in terms of how to connect on the app. And we'll show you guys how to actually turn the X-Boost option on here and then we test it out to see if it actually works. So the app that you guys want to download is called the EcoFlow app. And you see right here, I do have the app all downloaded already. And immediately once I do turn it on on the app, it show you guys that I found a device with the River 2 Pro. So I'm gonna add it. Once you guys add it, it'll tell you guys to connect the Wi-Fi. So I'm actually do that first. All right, so right now connect it on the device. All right, so once you guys got all connected, it tell you guys uh, what you guys want to use for the home page style. Whether you guys want to look like this or this one. So I think I'll use this option right here. And this is what the app looks like once you guys finish. So I'm gonna see how I show you guys the input and output on here in terms of how much power it does provide. And when you guys do look at the device now, it shows you guys a Wi-Fi logo or indicator light right here. So that is how it's known it's connected on the app and Wi-Fi. And it does show you guys how long it takes to fully charge it, which is 40 minutes. But right now it's around 47%. And right here, you do have the option to turn on and turn off the DC option and AC option if you guys want to, which is pretty cool. And if you guys want to change the setting option, you want to go right here. And you guys can turn on and turn off the X-Boost option and all these different options available for you if you guys are interested. And then the car input, in terms of the DC mode, AC charging speed, etc. Feel free to play around this how you guys want. So since I already have the X-Boost option on, I guess it doesn't really work when you guys do use it for electric kettle, but I'm actually give it one more try and see if it works. I do have a hair dryer, so I'm actually trying to turn it on and use that and see if it works. All right, so right here, I do have my uh, hair dryer plugged in. So what I do is turn it back on. And you can see how it does have the overload protection because it does use too much power when we do use in high. Let me bring it back to low. If we do bring it to low, if you guys turn it back on, give it a few seconds for it to turn off the overload protection. So overload protection turns off. If I turn it back on. The product definitely does work. So when we have it on low, it definitely does work. But when we have it on high, it does not work. Let me try to unplug the cable for the charging option and see what happens. So I just unplug the cable for the charging option. If I turn on high, let's see what happens.
MCL does work. So I guess for the product, when you guys do use it, you guys can use one or the other. You guys can't use both at the same time because it does use too much power on here. Let me try one more time. So it's using 808 watts, if you see how it does work. Let me bring back the electric kettle and try again. Now that we try to unplug the input option, see if we actually work when we do use it. All right, so we got the kettle plugged in again. Let's try again, but this time without the input. So let's do turn on. It's on, even see. And once you guys do have it on, and see how it does work. So it's currently providing 807 watts when we do use it. So the product definitely does work when we do use it, but it doesn't provide you guys as much power when you guys do the product. If you can see how it stays at 806. So from what I understand for the X Boost technology when you guys do it on here, what it means is that we guys can use devices that can go up to 1600 watts, but having that smart technology allow you guys to use it on here, even though it does use a lot. If you can see how when we do turn it on, it still allow you guys to use it. It just doesn't give you guys that uh, original watts because for this product when you guys use it, it can be anywhere from 1400 or 1500 watts. Where for this one, when you guys plug in here, it only provides guys 817 watts. So that's a smart technology that built in for you guys to use it. Even if you guys don't give you guys that max power on here, it still works, which is super convenient, especially when you guys are going outdoor camping or whatever. So whether if you guys want to plug in one device or two devices at the same time, it should work. Let me plug in my um, computer or the wall charger for the computer to see what happens when we do use it. So let me see how the number went up a little bit, but not by a lot. So I guess what's happening here is the power is being spread out for the actual electric kettle and also my uh, MacBook Pro charger. But even at 800 watts, it still works pretty well. Like right now it reached 212 already. It's just not as fast like I mentioned when you guys do use it. And it does drain a lot of power when you guys do use like high power stuff, like electric kettle. But once it's done, you can see how the power went back to right here and providing guys 105 watts when you guys use the wall charger for your laptop. So whether if you guys want to plug in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and etc., you guys feel free to plug in as much as you guys want in here at the same time. Is that when you guys plug in more than one device at the same time, the speed does slow down for these options right here. But when you guys use this one right here, it probably won't slow down, but there is a limit in terms of how high it can go. But the way how to design this product is for you guys to use it for smaller stuff, not so much for like stronger stuff that are anything stronger than this. But if you guys want to use it for like the low speed level or the, the not as powerful option like the hair dryer that I show you guys how the uh, power is not as high and same for the electric kettle how it's like 800 instead of like 1400 if you guys don't mind the option then it does work if you see all right so that is everything that's on the product now to come boxing and test on product now to answer the question of whether or not it's worth or not so for this portable power station i do have to say that it's pretty worth it if you guys want to need one of these especially if you guys are in the market looking for a super compact and portable power station that can use as an emergency option to recharge like your laptop or any other device that I show you guys in terms of like a fridge maybe or like electric kettle or a hair dryer option that give you guys the similar port that's on here in terms of the USB-C option, USB option, AC option, and DC option as well, then I do have to say that it's pretty worth it. <laughs> but then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have you want these, that obviously don't buy one and save your mind something else that you actually do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.